Thank you, President and colleagues. We will now proceed to the votes. Uh, first of all, we will vote on a proposal from the Conference of Presidents for the early termination of the office of our Vice President of the European Parliament, Ms. Eva Kaili. Vote is closed. And the vote is carried. Whether it is tightening of our rules, whether it is inquiring further, whether it is looking at the influence of certain third countries, um, uh, we will not stop and leave, lo leave no stone unturned. I cannot predict where this will go, uh, but what I can say I fear, and this is in a general point of view um, after uh, our initial findings, is that the story will not stop here. There will be no impunity, there will be no sweeping under the carpet. Our internal investigation will look at what has happened and how our systems can be made more watertight. Uh, our house is on the side of the law. Hemos decidido que los eurodiputados que están siendo investigados o aquellos cuyos asistentes están siendo investigados por la justicia dejen cualquier cargo de responsabilidad que ejerzan tanto en el Parlamento como en el grupo mientras duren estos procedimientos. Que se cree una comisión de investigación en el Parlamento Europeo en coordinación con la comisión INGE. El Grupo Socialista va a realizar en paralelo una investigación interna para contribuir a los trabajos de este comité y además hemos propuesto pedir a las autoridades de Qatar su colaboración en la investigación y si se probara que este país ha tratado de socavar la democracia europea se impongan sanciones. I think um, the damage is remarkable. I would even say we cannot um, estimate in the moment the damage which um, was caused by um, activities of single persons. Um, I think the only way to um, to get to let trust grow again is um, to leave no doubts that the House is standing full clarity with the readiness of full support to the investigations of the public authorities are done in Belgium. It was an overwhelming majority. I think out of 630 people, a single one did not want to strip her of this position. So it's a clear sign that no one in the parliament accepts these kinds of corrupt behavior. No one thinks that she should represent our institution as vice president any longer.